Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and I will be reviewing all the information revealed to us by the dev stream today. Today we were joined by Sweet Tsunami, Josefina, and Pyrite. Today's stream was focused on talking about the upcoming season, however since I've already made a couple videos on the future season, I will be using this video to only really focus on new information that I haven't already covered. So without any more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, we have confirmation that this weekend we will be getting another event to close out the season, that this event will be the Booster Apocalypse event that we got a few weeks ago. Pyrite confirmed that this event actually worked last time and saw more players boosting than average. We have that to look forward to in the short time. But back to the next season's information, Josefina was on this week's stream and she confirmed that they are indeed the author of Season 12's set, which is great news in my opinion because they did a great job in Season 11 and I'm really excited to see what they're able to pull off for this next season. Especially is after they stated that this season is going to be a very spicy season lore-wise. Following that, we have a lot of new information regarding the grenades, uh, the rad grenades that are going to be coming in season 12, and this is information coming from Alex. Starting off, the maximum exposure of the rad grenades is 4.2 or 4.2 damage per second, with life max out at 20 seconds. This is what uh, really is achieved if you stay at the center of the radius for too long, and as you leave the zone, the exposure is going to gradually decrease. So if you're in the center and you go towards the edges, it's going to gradually decrease until as you get out of the zone completely, it will continue to decrease. The zone has a 20 meter radius from the center outwards, and there's more damage the closer you are to the center. It also is going to be able to go through bunker walls and really just walls in general. So that will not protect you. Throwing two nades on top of each other does increase the exposure rating and makes you take more damage over time sooner. However, your maximum damage does not increase, meaning you're just going to hit the maximum much faster than if you had one nade. Rad nades will not wear off over time and will remain on the map for the rest of the encounter. However, these nades do not give hit markers or kill credit and will also not be marked on the map. Alex personally stated that the nades are the one thing that he is most looking forward to, and generally speaking, Alex has really good opinions, so... I th I'm really excited about them as well. Alex continued and gave us some information on the challenge rework and the elimination changes, confirming that this part of the challenge e rework is not the last and that more work will be coming to it in the future. Also, that they pruned the challenge list, removing some of the more redundant challenges and really the challenges that people didn't like. And in regards of EWIM, Alex confirmed that the loadouts are supposed to be unbalanced, but that everyone is on an equal possibility of getting to the loadout first. Regarding the locks, if everyone on the team has a lock breaker ticket, then the entire team can break the same lock and all have the same loadout. These tickets, if unspent, will not carry over or refund. Finally, to close out, we learned that the first week of Season 12 will only have Fist Elim in Rotate for the Elim Rotate. Anakin will return, however, after that first week. I know I blew through the information really quickly, but there is simply a lot of information, and I felt like just dumping it so that way we can all move on with our day, and I kind of just felt like that was the best way to do it for this week. But that's all I've got for you guys today. This was a pretty informative dev stream, and along with the Partners NDA release, has made today a really great day for Vigor players information-wise. I'm curious what you all think, but for today, this is really all I've got for you. This has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.